throughout the Old Testament, especially in the book of Genesis, we are introduced to the story of the patriarchs. In so many ways, these patriarchs point us to Jesus. They are a, a type, a, a kind of like a, a shadow, not quite as good as, but they help to teach us about Jesus. They help to point us to him, to, to see him in a unique way and a unique perspective. What we can say about them is oftentimes what we can also say about Jesus. That these men confess Christ in who they are and what they do as it gives us a glimpse of who Jesus is and what he will do. In this episode, we are going to take a look at Noah. Noah, and we know of his flood, but what about him? What we know of in Noah and, and in the account of his life is that Noah is described as a righteous man, blameless in the eyes of God. When all of the world was around, him, around him was corrupt, it was full of evil, and it was full of sin, Noah found favor in the eyes of God. Noah was faithful when all of those around him were faithless. And God called to him to save humanity. And according to God's promise, according to his word, he was saved by a flood. By a flood of water in the days of Noah, by the flood of the blood of Jesus that, fall, that came from the cross, the world is saved. Noah and his family are saved. Christ and his disciples and all those who would follow are saved. And that in that flood, by the promise that God made to these men, new life is given. A new life, a second chance, a, a chance in a restored creation, one might say. A second chance at things. An empty world for faithful Noah, for Jesus his resurrection from the dead, conquering and defeating, putting to death evil and even death itself, Christ, the even greater and better Savior. Even the Noah and the other patriarchs, Christ, the Savior for you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.